Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, I am going to recreate the ref cursor type video because uh, whatever ref cursor type video that I have done, I made a major mistake over there and a uh, few of the guys helped me out in pointing out the mistake. So thank you very much, f uh, very much guys whoever pointed out the mistake and letting me know what mistake exactly I have done in that video. Really appreciate and uh, keep, you know, uh, giving me feedback like this if I'm doing any mistakes or you want me to improve in my video so it really helps me a lot thank you very much once again so let's get into the types of ref cursor so in my previous ref cursor all I mean previous video I've already discussed regarding the ref cursor like what is a ref cursor and how it works now getting into the types of uh, ref cursors so there are two types of ref cursor one is the strong and the weak so first we will discuss about strong as the name specifies it is a strong ref cursor that means it is not easily bent or easily flexible so this is what is called a strong ref cursor so what exactly happens in ref cursor strong ref cursor is we already know how to create a ref cursor right so we will be mentioning um, uh, we will be creating a type like a for example like a data type um, saying that you know uh, like this right like we say type and we give some name over here then we say is ref cursor so we know all these things how to create a ref cursor already that I have discussed in my previous tutorial so same way you will be creating the ref cursor type but what exactly happens in a strong ref cursor is after creating that ref cursor type you will be mentioning a return type so there will be a return type for this ref cursor okay so that is what makes this ref cursor as a strong ref cursor okay so we will see that with an example so strong ref cursor will have a return type and um, the second point is it is um, not flexible okay hope you people have understood that then what is weak ref cursor weak ref cursor obviously it is just the opposite of the strong ref cursor it will not have a, not have a return type okay so that's why we call it as a weak ref cursor so what does this uh, you know uh, return type and what does this strong means is whenever we are uh, specifying um, a return type obviously whenever uh, the uh, you know we are trying to fetch a data we will be comparing the data that we have fetched with the return type only if that two matches the data that we have fetched and the return type both the data is matching or compatible then only the result is going to be valid or else it is going to show some error it's going to throw some error for you that's what will happen when we are using strong ref cursor we'll see that how we can um, you know uh, do that through the a uh, program so the next point in the weak ref cursor is it is flexible okay so and uh, obviously it can store any result set because it doesn't have a return type obviously it can store any result set so this is what is about the strong and weak ref cursor so now how to write a program is see already I have a um, program over here so what exactly I'm doing is declaring creating a ref cursor and you can see, see I'm attaching a return type to my uh, ref cursor creation so you can see it here type t ty1 is a ref cursor and it is having a return type so what exactly this this ref cursor is it is a as it is a having a return type it means it is a strong ref cursor okay so this is what is the strong ref cursor so as you can see I am attaching a return type that is EMP percentage row type and then I am creating a variable of this type and then I am trying to open that variable for this statement select star from EMP where uh, employee number is 7788 
so the return type is an employee and I'm fetching the data from the employee table so can you see that data that we are fetching and the return type is the same so this is what is the strong ref cursor if this kind of thing happens then obviously the data that we are going to fetch is going to be valid and I'm simply uh, you know showing an output as high because we just make, make you know need to make sure that uh, the output is um, good so I'm just saving it and running it you can see high and PLSQL procedure successfully completed what happens if I change it what if I say here department I'm trying to fetch the data from department table and I'm going to say department equal to 20 and try to execute it you can see showing expression is of wrong type so this is what happens um, when we are trying to fetch the data uh, from the uh, table that is not compatible to the return type it will show it will throw you an error so this is what is about the strong ref cursor type okay so what about the weak ref cursor type as I already I mentioned weak ref cursor will not have any return type so I'll just remove this out once you remove this out obviously this becomes a weak ref cursor so now if I run the same program you can see there's no return type and obviously I can fetch any data I want from the uh, any date table so if I run this see you can see that the PLSQL program got succeeded now the same thing if I change the table and um, try to run it save it and uh, run it you can see again still the PLSQL procedure successfully completed so this is what is the weak ref cursor type so this is what is the difference between the weak and strong ref cursor hope you guys have understood and uh, there's no any more confusions with it and I guess I have done this video without any errors so anyways um, thank you very much guys for helping me out and um, do keep supporting my videos just the way you did it um, thank you very much and keep you know stay tuned to my channel and we'll see in the next tutorial bye